right. All right, Billy Goat is wrapped up. Hopefully this heals up good, uh, who knows. He wouldn't let us get to him for a little while. Hold on, big guy, we gotta untie you. Hold on. He's been pretty patient, he's done good. We did clean up the wound, he, although he does have blood there on his leg, but the wound itself is clean. All right, everybody, welcome to uh, the farm. We have isolated our billy goat over here um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, he needs to be separated from uh, the female, and we put a little uh, small buck that we um, banded recently, so now he's gonna be a weather goat. We put them together in there. Uh, the billy goat has a pretty bad cut on his leg. I think it's probably from some sheet metal that was um, covering up some boards, and he probably cut himself. We, there was blood around that area, so we assume that's probably what happened. And um, we need to build them a shelter because it will rain soon. Okay, so we gathered our materials. We have a paddle pin on the ground. We have two T-posts, T-post driver. We have a tarp and some wire. So we're just doing a hoop house, much like this one there and the one the dogs are in, just because that's the material that we already have. And it's just easy because we can repurpose it later in case we don't need it. So I'll show y'all the update in just a moment. So check this out. So here it is. All done. We got it done. Yeah, it's uh, fairly primitive, of course, like most of what I do here. Um, I'm no expert in any way, and this is the first time we've ever lived on a farm. Yeah. And we've never really been on a farm longer than a day or two. Yeah. So uh, this is it. This is our solution to the problem that the sun came out today. It was very hot. We noticed that the black uh, little weather goat here. Uh, was panting pretty hard and he's been exposed to the sun quite a bit. We do have water and food, but we did not have a um, covering for them. So that's what this will serve as for a little while. You just have an 8 by 10 tarp and then a, what is this, uh, 4 by 16 cattle panel, I believe is what it is. We just bent it over like a hoop house and uh, that will give them a place to relax. And uh, th this pen that we built is just basically a 16 by 16 maybe a little 16 by 20 really. And um, we built it to give our buck a place to stay, heal, not going up in the woods, not getting into trouble because he did hurt his leg pretty bad. He looks like he cut a tendon, which is not good. His uh, right front hoof is fairly swollen. And so we've bandaged it up. We're gonna watch it and keep that bandage clean over the next, uh, however long it takes to heal. But every other day we're gonna have to uh, let's take a look at it and, and see what we can do. So they are hot. I'm going to try to get you some videos of them uh, as they're in the heat. But uh, they're Kiko goats, so they, they do enjoy um, being out in the woods. They enjoy eating just natural vegetation more than they do grain. And uh, so we got them locked up right now. They're not eating the vegetation as we expected because one of them's hurt. And I don't want him to be alone, so I'll put the other with it. But we've got to provide a good shelter for them because it is going to rain tonight maybe tomorrow, and uh, they don't do good in the rain. They don't like being exposed to the rain like that, and the heat is going to get a little hotter this week. So that's what's happening. Um, Olivia, do you have any thoughts on the matter? They just need to get the baby goat in the shade. Yeah, he's panting. Let us see if, let's see if we can uh, get him to move. All right, watch out, little guys. Go get the shade. Come on. I've got to move. Watch out, big guy. Hey. Move. You don't want to move. He's a little scared, I would say, because uh, when he did get hurt, he was exposed to a lot of things, and uh, so he would hide in the woods because he doesn't want to get attacked by wolves or anything like that. There we go. Let's just see if they'll relax there for a little while. There they are. Made it in the shelter. We've got their food, water, and uh, the other goats are out here in the three acres that we have dedicated to the goats. It's just so thick, but you could tell in the tree line how high they've eaten the yopon and the other trees, which is good because that's 
their whole purpose out here was to uh, dwindle down the vegetation so that we could use it for other things, put our chickens back here, potentially uh, maybe even some livestock of other sorts, pigs, maybe even a cow, who knows. It all comes in time. Yeah. The goat. And uh, his legs doing much better. And uh, a little weather goat. I think he's doing good now that he's in the shade. Sadie Sue, are you a good dog? Are you a good dog? A good, you're a dirty dog, that's for sure. Good dog. Let's crank it up. Let's see here. Do what happened? Oh, Precious coming. Yep. And tune it up. So, Precious is going to have to go. She's a sweet dog, but she is eating too many, too many chickens, I'll say that. Our chickens are very well protected. They don't free range without a fence. And, uh, they're actually right there. But the neighbor's chickens will have to about 26 meat chickens. These are from Murray McMurray Hatchery. They are, how old are they? May 7th uh, would make them uh, 12 weeks old. Something whatever like that is. That, so yeah. if anybody wants to do the math. But um, they're, they're halfway through their life cycle. And um, they're just meat chickens. And so we will raise them, process them at that point, And uh, they will be full grown. They won't grow any... They could grow some more. They could always do, but not healthily. Not, not, not. Excuse me. They could grow more, but they won't be healthy. Uh, we tried that once with a Cornish cross, and it just got so big that it couldn't walk. Yeah, and I don't want to do that with these chickens. I want them to be healthy. I want them to enjoy life. Come over here. Let's see if we can open this up. Hopefully, the dogs they don't fly out. Ready? I'm not gonna open it. for the day. My goodness, chickens! Y'all have eaten a lot. But there's the dark one here, there's a lighter one back there. Okay. So there's a range of colors in these. These are called Big Red Broilers by Murray McMurray. They've got speckles, they're much prettier in my, my mind uh, than a Cornish Cross. I like them. They're drinking this whole entire thing of water in a day. So as it warms up, we're gonna have to consider getting more water or at least a better water system that holds more and we can um, not have to be out here unless we want to be out here and, and water them twice a day but that's quite a quite a bit of watering to be done so don't hold it from that, that hey, olivia tell us about your chickens over here All right. what do we have for someone who's new to the channel they don't know what we have they don't know the setup that we have tell them about it all right so this is where our laying hens stay um, we have three roosters we have carter big red and I haven't named that. We haven't one. named the other. He's a barred rock. Yeah, he's a barred rock, but we have um, Big Red is a bu uh, buff Orpington. He's a big old dude. Um, Carter, what, what what kind is he again? I can't remember. Starts with an L. Lackenvelder? Something like that. Something like yep. that. And uh, yeah, pretty much barred rock, Lackenvelder, and. Lackenvelder, um, I think. Oh, whatever. Yeah, and then um, buff Orpington. But we usually carry. <laughs> A defensive a stick. <laughs> mechanism. Um, because, well, Sadie, Sadie will typically protect us, but um, Big Red and Carter like to protect their ladies. I don't so blame them. It's their job. Yep. Um, we, by the looks of the feathers, it looks like something got one of our hens. Um, we think it was one of our broody hens broody hens she yeah. was laying on two eggs um we're, we don't know for sure if it was her but that's our that's our guess but here's our hen house where our, our girls go to lay four eggs there 
Yeah. Have... This, is, this is two of them are what she was sitting on. Okay. We've got to clean this out one day soon. Yeah. Maybe they can make But they have their ramp right there. They can get in and out. We could, if we wanted to, open and close it day and night, but we don't. We have this electric netting that does a great job, to be honest. We have not. This is the first. Olivia, this is the first predator problem we've had. Yeah, first one we've uh, had. In, since since we, yeah, we have lost chickens in the past, but this, yeah, but it's been because they popped over the fence and, and there was a tree off. at right. one point that was close. And I think that's how something got in once, but right. so yeah, look that, at these feathers never, everywhere. I've never had a, uh, a, a predator issue. This little pin came with the trailer that we have, and. Uh, it's a cool trailer. We got this for a wonderful deal, and I think we made a video on it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we made a video, and uh, this pin came with that. And uh, we just set it up with it, because if we ever wanted to, what we could do is relocate this fence. And we every few months, that's what we do. You can see where the chickens have wore out this grass, and this stuff's not been touched. So we like to allow our chickens to free range, free range makes them happy, it builds our soil because they are making uh, deposits into our soil and they're getting the bugs and they're doing all that. And this area right here is a great uh, bath, dust bath for them. It's ash. It protects them from mites. You'll see them roll in it. They'll throw it around as, as Big Red is doing now. And uh, it's just good for chickens to have that. And uh, that was kind of the idea of having them in this area. What we'll do next is we may move them on the other side. And just rotate them around we may go into this pasture at another point so little by little we'll move these things around grass is so much better after the chickens are gone There's you'll see it grow so thick yeah all three chickens all three roosters we have a barred rock buff orpington and the lackenvelder carter there they are the the protectors of the of the home uh -oh. <laughs> they all come running out at one time sadie leave them alone do what oh yeah so that's what's happening and uh we've got a lot more space to put these chickens probably in that fat pasture over there this area here because they were just here um actually they were over there last so we could just flip the net around take up this space and uh, let them build the soil there as well and we just keep moving it around uh, eventually adding some more livestock into this area would be great but right now our goats are uh taking care of that backside because i'd rather them really uh, whittle on that uh, yopon and all the trees back there. But these chickens are doing a great job. They get, they give us how many eggs? 10, 12? Oh, average of 12 a day. Yeah. 12 a day. We've had more, we've had less. Yeah, we've had 14 at one point. Right. Uh, this is our feeding system. I built this out of some PVC. And they do a good job. You see some of this is off to the side because they have knocked it out. Look at that. Uh, but it is less wasteful than the other one that we have and i have this one but it doesn't seem to work very good they get their heads in and then they just pull it out so i may need to lift it up like on some blocks or something this water i allowed it to go dry so that they will learn to use this one this one they just hit this in they nibble on it and water flows out so they have learned to use that and i think that's less wasteful you're not going to yeah, have uh, you're not going to have it going away and, and evaporating. evaporating, right? Not totally. Not as much as that one, at least. Right. And uh, I think it's less wasteful. So we're trying to come up with ideas and ways to be more effective and uh, use our time more wisely. So if we don't have to feed them all the time, but at the same time, I'm of the perspective that I want to be with the animals every single day if I can, because they will learn to be with us. Exactly. And uh, you have this mutual respect, and Carter hopefully wouldn't attack us as much. So that's it for the chickens. Yeah. Is there anything else, Olivia? No, no then. Not, not missing anyone. anything. Hey, Sadie, leave that chicken alone. She heard her name. What? What? You heard me? Sadie, hey, let's go. Come on. Let's go. She's. So far, she's never attacked one. Right. Come on, Sadie. Let's go. Okay, guys. So today. I'm gonna show you my goats and my pups. First, yep. I'm gonna show the goat. Here's the herd goat. His name is Jerry Goat Rock. 
is a baby girl I named Valentine, and the other one, and the other baby girl don't have a name. And this little girl that black girl goat. Oh, what's going in there? Man, somebody really tight me. Wait. Daddy, get back. Daddy, get back. Yes, there they are. What do you think about the new goat shelter, Lainey, for Billy Goat? I like it. Looks pretty good, huh? Lots of room. Gives them some shade. Mm -hmm. Like a front porch. Right. Now be quiet when you're near that ant pile. We don't want to do something. Sure. I don't like ants. I know you don't. You what? I hate them. Really? Uh, what's on your shirt, Lainey? I noticed you have a special shirt on. Carter. It says kick, kick, kick him in the, the head. head. That's Carter on your shirt, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Carter's been a menace. She has been known to say, kick him in the head. What's going on right now, Lainey? Oh, here's our pups and here's a... This is a baby boy. Here. Jolene, you okay, this girl? How are the pups doing, Lainey? Little boy. You know how old they are? Um, one. They're three weeks old. Three weeks old. Okay. Here, you want me to hold you? They look pretty healthy. Lainey, be careful. Don't drop them. They're big. Turn around. Let's see. Let's show our friends on YouTube. This is a baby boy. Yes. He's oh. big. Do not drop him. You feel like he's getting... Make me nervous. Yeah. They are chunky. Like a trampoline? Okay, Lainey. How about we end the video? I need you to end the video. Bye. No. Then what? How do you end the video? Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our video. Check on uh, all of my videos and you'll see me. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye.